So I've came to the realization that a lot of you guys smell really bad. <laughs> and because of this, I'm gonna be building a Bath and Body Works and then inviting you guys on at the end so then you can stop smelling so bad. So this idea was inspired by Miss Vivian, 1970. She just goes, build Bath and Body Works. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Love heart. As you can see, I've got a little exterior of my Bath and Body Works. But first, what on earth is Bath and Body Works? Because I've never been. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Bath and body. Oh, okay. Someone actually built this in my mall series. It's kind of a... I think it's a fragrance store where they sell, like, perfumes and soaps. Oh, I'm an idiot. Why did I think they sell, like, baths? Like, literal bathtubs. Okay, bath and body works. Personal care and home fragrances. Body lotion, candles, diffusers, liquid hand soaps. Okay, all the fun jazz. So, let's get started. I'm gonna name this plot. Use the soap so you don't stink. Thank you. So this is my little layout. I know that the main color is, well, white and blue, but I don't know if that's what I'm also gonna do for the front. Why did I decide to put the front of this Bath and Body Works so far away? Like, look how far away this is from the front of the plot. Like, why are people gonna have to go for a full five mile hike just to get inside the store? It's been 84 years. I want the front to look cute because it's a Bath and Body Works, all right? It's not a Walmart. I love how it just dissed Walmart. I've literally never been to Walmart, first off. And second of all, I'm literally Australian. How do I make the front look like sexy? Not sexy, grand. <laughs> Actually, at the same time, who cares? It's literally just the front of the store. No one's gonna join the server and be like, oh my gosh, the front looks so boring. Like, no. We are, however, gonna have some parking. And then that way people can park their cars, even though they don't really use them ever. I don't remember the last time I built a parking lot in one of my builds and someone like actually used it. It's always, oh look at that, Alaska has parking. I'm not using it. Ow. And then you end up parking inside of the store. Like literally inside of the store. You will drive in the door. You know, building a Bath and Body Works right now is kind of the perfect thing to do because with this new update, my moods be dropping so fast. It's not even funny. I literally rage quit because I filmed my intro and I passed out like as I was filming. Oh wait, I, these are the wall panels. I want this to be the same color as the Bath and Body Works color. I could use wallpaper, right? Custom wallpaper. Why don't I type up Bath and Body Works and it comes up with a photo of this? What is this? Blue and white. Plaid. Oh yes, perfect. Perfect, darling. Uh, I changed my mind, by the way. I did actually go to a Bath and Body Works years ago. So I think I was around 13 when I went with my friends. So we decided to take a train all the way to the city, go to like the big shopping center there. So funny when I think about it, but like 13 year old me, okay, goes all the way to the big city, the big shopping center. And how much money does she bring with her? $20. I bring $20 with me. But in my defense, I was 13 and I had no money and instead of buying clothes or something useful i spent my entire 20 dollars on a bath bomb <laughs> and i came home that night and my mom was like oh my gosh alaska what did you get from the store i'm like a bath bomb and she's like what else and i'm like a bath bomb <sighs> this is all i got I do want to have a revolving sliding door, but I don't think it's going to fit. Yeah, it's not going to fit. So that's a bit awkward. I think we're just going to have to cut our losses and add this commercial double door. Okie dokie. And then for the roof, I want there to be a balcony that comes out like this. That and um... And rest of it like that. Also, why why is the roof acting like this? You guys see my pro why is it why is it hollow? Oh, I done the same thing for the middle. I'm not fixing it. Sorry. Fine, no one's gonna notice. Okay, doesn't look too bad. I am obsessed with good smells. So listen, my birthday's coming up, 3rd of July. Any of you guys wanna get me a birthday present? Listen, candle. Actually, no, don't get me a candle. Looking around my room now, I have over five candles in my room and I never light them. So yeah, probably don't get me a candle. <laughs> I need to go on my stream addictions for candles and at the front here i of course want a big fat juicy sign it says bath and body works look at that beautiful i hate how bright the walls are though it's giving me a aneurysm okay and for the windows should we just add like over the top fancy windows no it looks a bit stupid um i don't want it to feel just like a store i kind of want it to feel like a home what are those um curtains called that go above the windows oh what? I never know the words to- Oh, it's gonna drive me crazy. I don't know what they're called. Curtains. No. Veneers. No. What? Veneers. <laughs> 
this awning. Oh my God. I don't think you guys like understand. Every single time I go to find these things, I don't know what they're called. Okay, I can officially sleep peacefully knowing that I found them. <laughs> I'm gonna keep the front pretty simple. Just a sign at the front. I don't know, but I feel like Bath and Body Works is definitely one of those stores that just scream all the sales at you. Buy soaps for 50% off or die. Ha ha ha. Buy soap, buy soap. Buy soap. Okay, so that's it for the front. Now for the inside of the Bath and Body Works. Now this is the photo I got for the inside. So I want to try and replicate this shelving unit. And instead of building a basic Bath and Body Works, I kind of wanted to split it up into multiple sections. Cash register here, bunch of little storage units on the side, and then and the staff rooms. <laughs> Okay, listen, say what you want about the new Bloxburg update. I don't like the fainting and everything, don't get me wrong, but the wallpaper, the new wallpaper they've added, oh, I kind of love it, like, not gonna lie. Speaking of the new update, I don't know why I find it so funny, but there's people that want to boycott Bloxburg, and there was this Katniss Everdeen edit, and I was laughing so hard. I have a message for President Snow. You can torture us, and bomb us, and burn our district to the ground. <laughs> But I kind of get what people are saying. As a builder, I find the update very frustrating. And the reason I haven't said anything about the update is just because I genuinely have not had time. Now, this is my cash register. There's only going to be one person working here, and that is moi, me. So I'm going to need my coffee mug, maybe two coffee mugs. Oh, we can even have shopping bags. Ariana Grande, what are you doing here? Fragrances should I have, guys? Ariana Grande puff? Oh, and a horizontal plank. I'm pretty sure this is where they sell gift cards. I just realized when I'm decorating this, I'm gonna have to go around and add like hundreds of little soaps and I'm gonna have to color each individual one. I may go insane by the end of this video. FYI. Little heads up for you, love. I have a chandelier in here. Is that too fancy for a bath and body work? I may have a problem with making my stores too fancy. I remember when I made Walmart, everyone was like, you made your Walmart too fancy. And I'm like, well, duh. You don't want an ugly, boring Walmart, do you? No. You know what's so annoying with this update though? The fact that I bought my Marvelous moods, and now they don't do anything. Like, pretty much a waste of Robux. <laughs> you cannot be for real. Oh my god, you for real. No, you for fake. No, you for real. I think I want this entire wallpaper back here to be plaid. More plaid, the better. I'm kidding. Low key, I kind of hate plaid, but that's just my opinion. That's my opinion! Okie dokie. All the walls and everything's painted. I just need to paint the back here. Maybe instead of a staff room, I can make this like a basement. So then, if I invite people on and they get too crazy, I can just lock them up. I like that idea very much, Martin. Okay, now next thing is the storage units. I want to recreate this. Um, so we could just be a lazy bum and add a bookshelf cabinet, but we're going to custom make it. No, we're not. We're going to add, we're going to use the bookshelf. <laughs> I can't, I cannot be bothered. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. We're going to do a little bit of customization, okay? We're going to have a cube in the middle. I'm just going to split it up like that. And then we're going to do the same thing. So there's four rows and then lighting, LED lights. I can't believe yesterday I fought buff and body works. I sold buff tubs, guys. Oh my gosh, I think I'm a lost cause, honestly. What should we fill up this with? I think soaps. This can be the soap section. And then the body lotion and everything else can be on the other side. How do we make this presentable? But then you can't even see the LED lights. It like, defeats the whole purpose of adding them. Your new painting soap bottles would be so stressful. I could have them all different colors, but instead of having each cube a different color, we're gonna have each row a different color. That way my head doesn't explode by the end of this. Tee hee. You know what this reminds me of? Slime. You guys remember making slime. It used to be my life mission to try and make slime, except I had no ingredients. <laughs> so I'd Google slime tutorial, no glue, no borax, no ingredients. And I remember watching this video once. It was a prank video and I didn't realize it was a prank video at the time. It was a uh, <gasps> $5,000. Jeez. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yes. The tutorial literally said put shampoo, conditioner, and strawberries and mix them up and leave them outside for 10 days and then bring them back inside. And a little 10 year old me was like, like, oh my gosh, genius, I'm gonna make slime. And 10 days later, what do I get? Ooh. Mold. You know my disappointment when I went outside and I seen mold instead of slime? I was not a happy 10 year old. 
didn't get the obsession with soap. Loki, just been using the same soap for 10 years. Not the same actual soap, but the same brand. Let me just clarify that. I'm not dirty. Okay, there we go. We have our soap collection. A lot of soaps. I'm kind of scared. And then in the middle here, maybe we can have a custom shelf. We'll put all of the body lotion on it. You know what sucks? I can't even use body lotion because it makes my skin break out. Okay, so we're going to have the last soap dispensers on the bottom. I don't know why I, I sound like Kath and Kim, even though none of you are going to get that reference. Okay, and then on the top, fancy shampoo and conditioner. I don't know why I said fancy. It's literally just shampoo and conditioner. Can you guys even pick this stuff up and interact with it? I love the fact that I painted the soaps in the back because now I can just copy it about coloring every single individual soap. All right, we have all of the body fragrances. So I'm just going to copy this. Might add it here as well. What if we put all of these soap bars on this wall here? After all of the updates Bloxburg have added to the game, I still don't understand why we have so many soaps. We have so many. It's not even funny. Oh, and one more thing I need to add on here is the candle section. Not me nearly forgetting candles. Could you imagine the Grace. Wait, how am I going to add candles in here without making it obnoxiously bright and demonic? Oh, I can just change the wick to black. My favorite fragrance of candle is watermelon. Every time I smell a watermelon candle, I just have the urge to eat it. Get in my belly! And what I do to make the soap stand out is track lighting up the top. Okay, so now we have this section of the Bath and Body Works, which is going to be the fragrances and more candles. Why do I say fragrances like that? Fragrances? <laughs> um, for the candles. I kind of want these to be circular, to be honest. Oh, and Bloxburg also added incense sticks. So do they still have those? Boom, they do, incense sticks. You can have these on the top here, make it nice and zen. I only added a few candles. Why does it look so relaxing in here? Like, ooh la la, bonsoir. Okay, so I'm just gonna fill this entire section up with candles. And then we can add the fragrances. Oh my god, I said it again. Then we can add the fragrances. Woo! Now, this time, I'm just gonna leave this, like, one big shelf. And I'm gonna do the same thing that I done in my Sephora. So if you didn't watch my Sephora video, I put a wall like this, and I made this a glass wall so no one could break in and steal the fragrances because perfume is very expensive. Like, there was this perfume on TikTok that everyone was saying to get. Everyone was saying, oh, Oh my god, it smells so good. Little old me was like, oh my gosh, I want this perfume. So I looked it up. $420. $420. And you're probably like, Alaska, that's like the average price of a perfume. My only problem when buying something somewhat expensive, I will then be too scared to use it because I don't want to waste it. <laughs> it's a silly mindset though that I need to kind of get out of. If you have something nice or let's say you have something that you really want to eat, but you're like, I'll save it for a special occasion. Don't. Because what if you're never going to get that special? occasion. I bought this uh, really nice dress. I said to myself, I'm going to save this dress for a special occasion. And guess what? That special occasion never came. And now it doesn't fit me. But I just wasted so much money. And I saved the dress for nothing. I still ain't want anything. Shut up really frustrating because I know Bloxburg has those purple fragrance bottles, but I can't find them for the life of me. It's now driving me poco loco. These are crystals. I don't need crystals. Ah, found them. I don't think these are perfumes. These are body lotions, I'm pretty sure. And instead of white, boring shelves, we're gonna have pink. Yeah, suck on that. Okay, and for a shop that bases itself off of good smells and aesthetics, oh, I just realized we've got no plants in here. Like, where's the greenery, darling? Oh, wait, I just remembered. We need to lock this up. No perfume stealing in this house, darling. Now, one more thing I want to add is a vanity table. Listen, I know this is not Sephora, and technically we do not need a vanity table in here but adding one because they look cute and for a final little touch security cameras <laughs> then i can spy on all of you okay, that sounds a bit creepy but you know what i mean okay so our bath in body works is finally complete and it comes to a total of 140 $2,000. So this is what it looks like from the outside. Pretty simple. Just don't question the decal. And then when we walk in, we have the candles and fragrances on the left. And then on the right, we have body lotions and soaps. And this is where I work over here. And also this is my laptop where I can view the security cameras. <laughs> so yeah, I can make sure no one is stealing in my bath and body works. And you guys, come on. Oh my gosh, you know what I just realized? <laughs> I didn't do the back rooms. Stop. We're going to ignore this. Are you dumb?
It's so quiet. Why is there like no one joining the server? Oh, maybe because um no one can join you, absolute idiot. Risk of fainting. No, don't faint on me. Okay, I found out um a way to stop fainting. You just have to dance and then you stop fainting. I look like an idiot, but it's okay. Okay, here comes everyone. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Did you guys see that person? There's literally, you're not coming in. We have a parking lot for a reason. Nearly crashed into my store. What is this? All right, it's all right. Have a look around. You all stink. Oh, we have a lot more people than I expected. If you need any help, let me know. I will be here to help. What wow. the hell is that? What wow. is that? Get out of my store. Oh my god, behind the counter, you animals. Just because I'm the only person working here does not mean you have the right to break into my store. Can I please have... I've been... Can you keep still? I'm trying to read you. Every time I try to read your guys' text, you run away. Okay, I'm shutting the doors for now. I'm shutting the doors. Only a few people can come in at a time. Please, I don't even know what you are. You're not stepping foot in my store. Can I help you with anything? Yes. What can I help you with? So you're very close to my face. You're practically kissing my face. Need me some foot cream. Oh, I'm your girl. Follow me. You want the foot cream? I give you the foot cream. All right, listen, this yellow banana foot cream. Very good. Your feet will be smelling amazing. Someone just goes if you don't let us in. I'll unsubscribe. Let me in. Let me in, please. Fine, you can come in. Just don't break in, okay? Line up. I'm gonna regret this. Come in. Come in. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. No jumping over the counter. No jumping over the counter. What did I just say? Oh my gosh, I give up. I give up. I'm gonna hide myself in here, actually. Actually, yeah, come in here. Everyone, everyone, come in. Come in. Yeah, everyone should come in here. Yeah, this is a really pretty place. I'm not gonna lock you in, but you should definitely follow me. Okay, bye. I'm wow. locking you in. <laughs> Get pranked, mate. Okay, what's going on outside? I have a protest. Listen up. Girl, why are you protesting? This is Bath and Body Works. Can't protest that your feet still stink after using our cream. Maybe it's because your feet stink. Overpriced waxes. Poop on the floor. Oh great, someone's now having an aneurysm. Well, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed me building Bath and Body Works. I'm going to run away from this cult before they chase me anymore. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!